Hey guys, welcome to another video. And on request of lot of DMs and messages, I'm making a video of a student village tour today. So in the foreground, here you see is the Anglia Ruskin University, Chelmsford, <coughs> the main campus. I've already shot a video of the university tour, which you can check out later on. But in this video, it is more focused on the student village. So let's go towards the student village and see the facilities, the rooms and how is it. So it's basically located right next to the university. So this is the main campus. These are the other buildings and that's the student village right in front of us. So it's hardly 50 meter walk and let's go there and see how the rooms are, how what the students feel about the room if we can get into contact with someone then we will we will talk to them also so stay tuned and watch the full video for full information on student village so this is the entry to the student village flats here and over there you can see the car parking so yes students are allowed in student village car park and Let's continue our tour of the student village. So it's basically from the main gate, split into two main gates. This is one gate, this is another one. And all the rooms, I don't know the numbers, but yeah, all the rooms are here. And so right next to the gate is the laundry, student village laundry. I think it costs somewhere around four pounds. But yeah, there are coin operated machines where you can wash and dry your clothes. So that's one facility right at the gate. So after coming inside from the main gate, there are flats 79 to 85 right in front. A lot of parking space. Mostly students don't have a car, but yeah, there is enough parking space over here if you can see with rooms all around. And if you know what this is, then comment below if you actually know what is the purpose of this thing. I didn't know when I came to UK, but now I know. But if you know already, comment below what is this called or what is the purpose of this. So there's a nice, it's, the weather is not good, but there's a nice garden and some sp sitting space where you can enjoy a coffee, space for garbage. So this is flat number 104 and let's try to go to the corner one is 105 and let's see. So once you enter, there's a heater over here like everywhere else. And there are certain rooms, 693, 4. So basically, I think there are three rooms on one floor, 695, 3 and 4. So we are checking one room of a student, taken permission already. So this is the room in the five room property. So it has all the basic things that you require for staying in a, as a student. It has a nice, decent single bed. Then you can put your luggage. There is no extra luggage storage space. So yeah, that could be a problem. So I always say better carry cartons than to carry huge suitcases. But yeah, these can be put below the bed also. But yeah, there is a decent bed. A nice study table if you see. With some storage space here. For your gross, for your stationery. And some more storage space here for your toiletries or anything you can use for and some information and advices from the university is also here and then there is a big cupboard for your clothes or anything else that you might want to store there is some space on top also and obviously heater but yeah the best part not the best part but a good part is the atmosphere you know it's very nice and cold the window is good nice 
sunlight is coming you see here but yeah in some during some other time of the day there will be plenty sun sunlight and there's a nice garden you can just hang out or chill out with friends here so that's a nice place and all the rooms they come with a attached toilet it feels like you are in an airplane it's pretty small but yeah you don't need much you can take shower here do your stuff here and water so that's a nice small attached toilet and shower space it's little bit bigger than an airplane but yeah pretty much the same so that's the room and if you want to see how many rooms are there so you can see here there are a lot of rooms here yeah so you can see the map there are a lot of rooms so let's get go upstairs and see what other facilities are there in this five bed property and try to talk to some student who has agreed to answer some questions or any queries that we may have so let's go back and go upstairs so coming upstairs there are two rooms 697 696 there's a cleaning locker over here i think which has all your vacuum and mopping stuff that you need and then this is the shared kitchen and dining space which is very big for five people i think and it is fully loaded actually you can see there's fridge shared fridge obviously but yeah it's big enough for two people oh, sorry five people and then there is this freezer also standing freezer so yeah and for cooking anything you like there's induction hobs microwave oven kettle and i think individual students will have logged cupboards for them so one two three four five so five students five cupboards for storage space basically and then there's utensils and everything that you need in a kitchen basically to do basic or advanced cooking and there are a lot of storage spaces i think for utensils and other things not a good idea to explore looks like it's logged or nobody is using it but yeah if you see there's a decent kitchen neat and clean so i would must say students are well maintained maintaining the kitchen and then there is dining space over here with some charges from the university management plans and etc for coffee and everything and the best part again as i said from the window you can see the garden space that we came up from and from this window also i think pretty much the same view parking and garden space and then this is the kitchen so now that you have seen the room we have a student with us who stays downstairs in this same apartment we saw his room just now so let's talk to him and ask him your common queries that you have and if you have any further queries you can always comment below and i will ask him and get the answers so let's start with the first question which is most commonly asked how much are you paying for it yeah so i am paying monthly 550 pounds a month okay and how long is the contract so it depends on the course so my con i am doing master in supply chain management and it is without placement so i have uh, one year contract one year contract yeah. so you came in september September. So your contract will so be. So it till... started from seven September and it's uh, till I think so, somewhere around twenty fifth of August till two thousand twenty three. Okay, so eight, probably full one yeah, year. One year, yeah. And what are the payment terms like? Do you have to pay everything in one go or are there no, installments? No, so you can pay in one go and there are installments. Like it is not a monthly payment. So the university will take most of the amount in the month of October. Then Jan. How much? So mm -hmm. roughly uh, in October they took somewhere around two thousand pounds. Okay, two thousand two hundred forty pounds. Four months rent. Yeah, four months rent, right? Then Jan they will take somewhere around one lakh uh, one one five zero zero pounds, one thousand five hundred pounds. That's same three. amount in April, and then the last uh, installment is in June, somewhere around four hundred pounds. That's it. Okay, so roughly four installments, two thousand fifteen hundred to two thousand pounds. So it's like paying monthly, but you're paying three months at a time. Five hundred and fifty pounds a month. Do you think it is good? 
amount that you are paying being yeah. in gems for and so uh, what i there it there are positive sides there are negative sides of it so yeah. the positive sides are like after i landed here in uh, chelmsford like when i traveled from mm. london i go to chelmsford i have never used a transport like i never went on a bus not okay. since so university it, is since just university next is close i got a job uh, nearby in the city center so everything is walking distance so not a single penny on transport so that's uh, one benefit that i got uh the rooms are nice like for single person the room is comfortable but yeah there are some issues with like n suites like the washrooms are very small very yeah. small yeah so for, person so for like indian me, person yeah we have a big well, we do we are comfortable with big uh, n suites so that's yeah. the only problem rest it is everything is fine i think yeah so if you are huge like me you might find it difficult to fit in a small space to do your stuff but yeah if you are a reasonably sized person it's made for reasonably sized people so that is not big enough But yeah, that's okay. So the rent is currently in 2020 2023 term. It's 550 a month, roughly. You can always check on the university website. And payment terms are basically every semester you have to pay or every three months you have to pay. Is there a way to terminate your contract? Yeah. In between? So it's like uh, you at the start you always make a contract with the university. So it is not that easy to terminate. But anyways, if you find that you have a guy to or some other person you have a replacement, then you can definitely go to university. They are always ready to change if we expect that to happen. So considering the current situation in Chelmsford, from what I know, there are no rooms available outside or very few are available. So students generally are now preferring, even though it is slightly tad bit expensive, but it is worth it. because you can find a room right next to university and you will be saving at least 50 to 100 pounds on travel even if you are using bus or train or the moped not moped but the scooters electric scooters everything costs money and you will save that money so considering pros and cons are you happy staying here or you so, want to move out yeah it's a mixed feeling I, at the start i tried moving out but uh, i didn't find a room below 600 so i was like a better comfortable here i will yeah. move one year yeah So rather than paying and moving up any elsewhere, they pay six hundred is yeah. a lot also. So I didn't get anything below six hundred. Minimum I got was six hundred pounds for a single room. Yeah. So point a point a very important point to note for January intake students especially who are coming that if you get a chance to you know get a room in the student accommodation or student village, prefer that because finding a room outside even though you message me hundred times. I know I don't have any rooms available as of now, and I am sure that it will not come up in the market anytime soon. And if they come up, the rooms that are coming up in the market are very expensive, at least five hundred fifty, six hundred, seven hundred in that range. So it's always good to stay right next to university with all the students. You will make friends very easily. It's good for networking, and it's walking distance. So you just get up, take shower, and go to the university. It's as easy as that. Even finding uh, not jobs, but you are going to the workplace. I know in Chelmsford but the city center is very nearby so you can just walk there and if you want to travel anywhere if at all you want to go for sightseeing or anywhere else via bus or train the train station and bus stop both are very near walking distance and the best part is i also stay very near so if you want to meet me you can just walk down to the uh, lane and you can meet me anytime you want or i come down to the university very often so yeah that's the pros and cons of staying in the student accommodation and if you think i have missed any point or we have missed any point or if you still have any queries feel free to comment below and thank you for watching the video do like share subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for a lot of more informative content cheers bye bye